Hi, another uh, tenor banjo tutorial from somebody who is learning to play the tenor banjo. Um, but actually it's a really good way of learning, so so thanks for bearing with me and I hope it's useful to you. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to play Tennessee Waltz, which I've played for a while on the tenor. And I really like how it sounds, and so I'm going to share. It's in G-D-A-E tuning, G-D-A-E tuning. And the D chord is that one, which is the second fret on the fourth string, open third and second strings, and then the second fret on the first string. That's a D chord. We play in the key of D. So it starts like this on the D string, which is the third string. I was waltzing. And so that's the open and second fret and then slide up to the fourth fret. Uh, whistle, whistle. And that chord is the only the top three strings, the highest three strings. So it's the fourth fret on the third string, open second string, and the fifth fret on the first string. Uh, whistle, whistle. With my darling. Now you can do the same. Or you can do this, I was waltzing with my darling. And that's the um, sixth fret on the fourth string. And then to the tenor, tenor. So that's the D chord shape. Fifth fret on the second string. Open first string. And that's, that's the D chord you got into. So I was waltzing with my darling to the Tennessee Waltz. So that little is um, the third fret on the second string. I was waltzing with my darling to the Tennessee that bit. And then it goes into a G chord, which is the second fret, second string, third fret, first string. And then when an old friend, so fifth fret on the second string, open first string, when an old friend I happen to see. So we'll go through that again. <clears throat> go from the start, it's like the alphabet, you have to go from the beginning sometimes. I was waltzing with my darling to, to the Tennessee Waltz when an old friend, so that's when an old friend, second string, fifth fret, when, open first string and old fifth fret second string again uh, friend i fourth fret on the third string ha, ha, ha. so that's the second string hammer on the second fret ha, ha, to fourth fret third string no and this is now an a chord and then it does it again uh, to see I introduced her to my darling and while they were dancing my friend stole my true now this time it's different it finishes differently it's true love from So that's um, true love from me. Second string open, true fifth fret on the third, love, second fret on the third string from me. So that's um, the 
verse. As well sing with my darling to the ten. Get it right. To the Tennessee walls when an old friend happened to see. I introduced her to my darling, and while they were dancing, my friend stole my true love from me. Okay, so that's the verse. Now the chorus. And I remember the night. So that's second string, fifth fret. I read seventh fret, second string. Remember, but I did that as a chord, so it's the the ninth fret on the second string and the tenth fret on the first string. I remember the night and the Tennessee walls. So. From up here, I remember the night. That's the next chord. Don't know what it's called, sorry. And it's the fourth fret on the third string and the fourth fret on the second string. And I play the first string open. I remember the night and the ten. Goes into the G chord, Tennessee walls. Back to the D. Now I know. So this bit's familiar now. So the fifth fret, second string. Now I know just how much I have lost. Yes, I lost my little darling. So the chorus again, just quickly. I remember the night and the Tennessee walls. Now I know just how much I have lost. Yes, I lost my That's how I tune a tenor, the 12th fret harmonic, and then the 5th fret on the next string. And if you tune it like that, it's in tune those two, but then when you fret, and it's not in tune, it means your bridge is in the wrong place. It means just it needs a bit of a setup. That's not hard, perhaps I'll do a video on that sometime.